now we shall discuss step 2 in step 2 we need to determine the area of individual sprinkler here we are going to represent area by a so here we are considering upright sprinkler this will be upright sprinkler just a moment i will mention it here somewhere yeah upright sprinkler please ignore my handwriting so area coverage of one individual sprinkler is s by l this is the formula which is given in nfpa 13 or this is the rule which is given in nfpa 13 s will be the space between sprinklers along the branch line for example in our case here we have this sprinkler and this sprinkler so distance between sprinkler along the branch line is 14 feet okay and the pipe size is 1 inch so 14 feet is nothing but s or we can calculate s is equal to distance to the wall times 2 which means s will be since the first sprinkler from the wall is 5 feet so we can consider 5 feet multiply by 2 so s will be 10 feet basically we will consider the largest of these two in order to calculate the area so here based on this s will be 14 feet now l in similar manner we will calculate l is the space between branch lines means here if you see here you have branch this also one more branch so the space between branch lines here we are considering uh, 9 feet i mentioned the dimension here so this will be uh, 9 feet so l will be 9 feet or l is also equal to distance to the wall times 2 so distance to the wall for the particular sprinkler one is 4 feet so 4 feet by 2 here we are getting 8 feet in these two the largest is 9 feet so here i will just scroll down i will mention it here area coverage will be s by l this is for one sprinkler so s will be 14 feet and l will be 9 feet so the total area will be 126 square feet so area coverage area of the individual sprinkler is 126 square feet so the sprinkler we choose has the area of 126 square feet if we apply the same rule as per nfpa 13 to each sprinkler here in our uh, drawings we are going to get the same 126 square feet since this complete uh, sprinkler system is typical i hope you understand the second part